All right, guys, we are back with round two hat format at Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got two YCS champions going at it. Uh, on the left, YCS Philadelphia champion Dennis Nadas, and on the right, YCS Raleigh champion Cam the Man Neal. Looks like Dennis went first. He's playing a, I think, Heratic Rulers, while Cam is playing a, I think, a Card Card D Artifact Trap Tricks deck or the Cat deck, as people like to call it. Both these guys won round one, so we'll see who moves on with a 2-0 record. Dennis activates Dragon Shrine, which is basically a Foolish for Dragons. You can only use one Shrine per turn. And you get an additional Foolish if you send a normal type, a normal mon normal Dragon type monster. So he sends Flame Bell Guard. Now he's going to get an, now he's going to send another monster, which he sends Heratic Tefnuit. Okay, so I'll go over that effect if he does use it. So some people have been asking for Dennis's deck list, and uh, he unfortunately switched to this version of the deck. I don't know if he can remake it. I'll ask him next time I see him. We'll see. So here, Dennis activates Soul Charge. Cam chains Maxi to the Soul Charge. Then Dennis activates Gold Strike. So let me go over Soul Charge and Maxi real quick. So Soul Charge target any number of monsters in your graveyard. Special summon them, and special summon them, and if you do, you take a thousand for each. Can't conduct your battle phase to turn you soul charge, and you can only activate one soul charge per turn. And then the the monster that Cam used is Maxi. It's a quick effect, hand trap during either player's turn. You can discard it from your hand to the graveyard. For this to turn, each time your opponent special summons a monster, you draw one card. And then Dennis Gold Star Tempest, and since Tempest was banished, its effect activates, which searches a Wind Dragon type monster from your deck to your hand. All right, now that the explanation's over, sorry, I explained all the cards in Hat because some of us maybe haven't played Hat in a while, or maybe you're trying to get into Hat, which I think is a very fun retro format. I think this and Edison, to me, are my two personal favorites. That's why I'm uploading both. All right, let's see. What's funny is these two actually were teammates at Worlds this year for Master Duel. They teamed up for Master Duel. Now they're going at it here after being teammates at Worlds. <laughs> Both these guys mostly play modern Yu-Gi-Oh, but glad to have them playing some uh, Hat. Cam actually did play back then. I don't think Dennis did. Dennis started playing like right after Hat. So here Dennis slams down the Black Rose. Ooh, maybe Cam didn't see this coming. No, he breakthrough skills the Black Rose. Okay. Let's see. No response for Dennis. I mean, this is fine for Dennis. You keep a Black Rose out there that you can probably synchro with or you can XYZ summon with. 2400 beater. So, yes, yeah, Dennis did win our last hat tournament. So, he's already got one win in hat. Trying to get a second one. Second, and he did win once with Edison. Sorry, in Edison. So, Reckless. Okay, Dennis is back on Reckless. He is a Dragon Turbo player, so not surprised he's back on, on Reckless. <laughs> Let's hope he remembers to skip his draw phase, because one time Dennis and I played in Edison, and he forgot that to skip his draw phase. And some people said, I didn't even notice it, but some people said it cost me the, the match. Okay, so here he activates that spell card. Uh, it's a Rota for Heratic Monsters, and he searched uh, Heratic Esset. Which you can normal summon it without tributing. Then he special summons Heratic Sue from his hand. So you can special summon Sue by tributing a Heratic monster. And all the Heratics have an effect. When they're tributed, they special summon a normal Dragon-type monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So as Esset was tributed to special summon Sue from his hand. Cam chain Maxi, so he's going to draw one for the... Yeah, he's going to draw one for the Esset effect. So he attacks with Sue and attacks with Black Rose. So yeah, all the Heratics have that effect where they're tributed. If they're tributed anyway, you special summon a normal dragon monster from your hand deck or graveyard. So he brought out Labradite Dragon, which is a level 6 normal dragon tuner. Next turn, he's going to add Tempest for Gold Sark. See, that's why I always tell people to put dice or something so you remember about Reckless. Let's see if he remembers. Okay, he remembered. Good, 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 good. But now he has Tempest, right? Or was that last turn? Okay, yeah, Cam reminded him. See, Cam's a good dude. He reminded him about the Tempest. <laughs> I, know, I know Cam 
play during half because he and I used to test during half format. My wife, oh, wing beat. Oh, I love that card. <laughs> it's basically a heavy storm, except you return a level five or higher dragon type monster from your side of the field to the hand and destroy all spells and traps. <laughs> oh, man. That's that's one reason why I, I kind of want to play a dragon deck. Like Hieratics. Hieratics probably abused that card the best. It's basically... Oh, heavy. <laughs> so he returns the Labradite Dragon. Oh, but he gets two artifacts. So he wiped... Cam wipes his field. So the artifacts, if they're destroyed in your spell and trap zone... They're monsters that you can set to your spell and trap zone. If they're destroyed... In your spell trap zone during your opponent's turn, you can special summon them. And the moral attack, when it's special summoned during your opponent's turn, you can destroy a face up card your opponent controls. Doesn't target. So now, uh, Dennis special summons Tempest. Normal summons Debris Dragon, targets Flame Bell Guard. So he needs to get rid of one of the moral attacks at least. Oh, Cam chains DD Crow, man, all the hand traps. It makes sense, though, because Cam's playing the cat deck, so he needs, like, he wants to draw into Maxi and, and DD Crow off of the card card D. All right. Does Dennis have another ruler? If Dennis has another ruler, he's in a good spot. He can make Star Eater. Star Eater, summon a dragon, wipe Cam's field. Oh, yeah, this is looking good for Dennis. Now, he's probably going to Synchro Summon Star Eater. Which is basically a 3,200 monster. It has another effect, but I don't think it's going to come up in this situation. Yeah, it's a level 11 synchro, 3,200 attack. And like a synchro summon can be negated. And I think when it attacks, it's unaffected by other card effects. I think that's its effect. I may be missing something, but... Alright, so he attacks with the rulers... Yeah, hits him and everything, and I'm pretty sure he's going to Synchro Summon Star Eater with the Tempest. Probably leave the title up. That's what I'm guessing he's going to do, so Cam's keep track of life. Shout out to my boy Cam. But yeah, it's Cam and I... Oh, no, he's going to sync XYZ Summon. Okay, Draco Sack's not bad. Yeah, that's a good play, too. Draco Sack, and then you can Synchro with the tokens, or just leave the tokens up with the debris. Yeah, because you can banish Tempest... Uh, sorry, Draco Sack from Tempest, and now if Cam sets a back row... Yeah, I mean, this play might be better than Star Eater. Yeah, I think I think this plays better. And here comes a uh, Soul Charge. Okay, now it's now all of a sudden Cam's back in the game. Thanks to Soul Charge. He's gonna XYZ summon probably Pallades to bounce the the Draco sack. Yep. So a Pallades is a rank five quick effect during either player's turn. You can attach a material to return any card on the field to the player's hand. But then it still has two dragon rulers in the graveyard, but does he have enough dragons? So I know I, I go over this every video, but the Dragon Rulers all have three effects. They Basically, the, the main effect they use is to special summon themselves from your hand or graveyard. You can special summon them from your hand or graveyard by banishing dragon monsters in your hand or graveyard or monsters with the same attribute as the specific Dragon Ruler. There's four of them. They're all limited to one for a good reason. So right now, Dennis has Tempest, which is a wind, and Tidal, which is a water. Now, you'll occasionally see some decks, if they're like a pure earth deck, they'll splash Redox in their deck. Or if they're a pure water deck, like Mermail, they'll splash Tidal in their deck. He can make a level 7 here? But what, does he play a, another level 7 dragon? Yeah, that Soul Charge brought Cam back in the game. He looked like he was cooked. But you can, yeah, what, what, what will Cam, uh, sorry, what will Dennis do? I guess maybe you can just... I'm trying to think what he can do. I doubt he plays a second Black Rose. There's just no... There's no way. This deck... This... I don't believe it. This extra deck... He doesn't have space. Wait, he tributes set? Oh, he tributes set the Labradite Dragon. Okay. Yeah, because remember, we he bounced it back for Wing Beat. So Cam decides to attack over the Debris Dragon. Doesn't use Pallades' effect. So now... Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, he tributed for... Oh, he's got double Labradite Dragon. 
All right, Cam is probably just going to let him XYZ summon. Yeah, he goes for Photon Strike Bouncer. Ooh. So a Photon Strike Bouncer, you need two level six. And that one can negate uh, an effect of a face-up monster, and your opponent takes 1,000 damage. That hurt Cam really bad. So he's going to use it. Yeah, he's going to negate. And then he chains Sanctum, which Artifact Sanctum special summons the artifact from your deck. And he brings out Moral Attack. We already went over Moral Attack. If it's special summoned during your opponent's turn, it uh, destroys a face-up card as a target. Let me read Photon Strike Bouncer, because that card doesn't really come up, because no one really plays Hieratix. The only other person who's played Hieratix on the channel was Luigi. Yeah, so once per turn during either player's turn, when a monster effect is activated on your opponent's side of the field, you can detach one material from this card, negate the effect, and if you do, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. So now Dennis is special summoning two Dragon Rulers, Tempest, and what was the other one he summoned? Oh, Redox. He goes for Big Eye. Big Eye probably going to take takes the Pallades. XYZ summons M7. I forgot M7. I think you can just put it on top of a Constellar. Let me go refresh my memory on M7. I think you can just XYZ summon it by... You can just put it on top of a Constellar monster. So Cam concedes... Yeah, it says you can also XYZ summon this card by using a Constellar XYZ monster you control as material other than Constellar M7. Transfer the materials to this card. If summoned this way, the following effect cannot be activated this turn. Once you attach one material from this card, target one monster on the field or in either graveyard, return that target to the hand. All right, so game two, Cam goes first, activates Pot of Duality, reveals Soul Charge, Artifact Ignition, and Max C. That was a close first game. So he's going to add Artifact Ignition. Mm. Now he's going to set three, one of them at Artifact Ignition. So maybe that tells us he might have a Moral Attack as well in his Spawn Trap Zone. All right, let's see who will win round two, the Philly Champ or the Raleigh Champ. The the world's the twenty twenty four world's competitors. All right, so here comes Dragon Shrine from Dennis. We already went over Dragon Shrine. He's going to send. Uh... I know be... <laughs> people always bring up the fact that Dennis shuffles so much. I I don't I don't notice it because I've played Dennis a few times. But I, when he plays Dragon Turbo and he like rejuves for twenty cards, I'm like, oh, he he needs to stop shuffling. Luckily, he kind of stopped playing Edison for uh, I think maybe he'll yeah. He usually doesn't play Edison because our schedule changed. I think because he plays Modern Yu Gi Oh whenever our Edison tournaments going on. All right, so here comes Sanctum. So remember, uh, Dennis num normal summons Heretic Esset, sorry, which you can normal summon it without tributing. And I think it lowers his attack as attack goes to like a thousand. So here comes Sanctum, special summon Moral Attack, pop the Esset. He has Blaster in the graveyard, so he can special summon Blaster if in attack over the Moral Attack here. All right, come on, Dennis. So many guys may know Dennis. Everyone calls him Fetty, but I just I use his name, his real name. All right, so he uses Tempest's in hand effect. So again, all the Dragon Rulers have three different effects. They have the special summon themselves effect. They have the effect when they're banished, and they have the effect. They have an effect in their hand as in the hand as well. But you can only use each effect once a return. And also, they return to your hand if they're facing up on the field during your opponent's end phase. So here he discards. Basically, Tempest's in-hand effect is you can discard itself and another wind monster to search any dragon from your deck to your hand. So he searches Tidal. Now, he can't use the other effects. I know I, I almost made that mistake yesterday uh, with Blaster, but luckily Toby reminded me. All right, so then his special summons Tidal. Cam chains Maxi to Tidal. He banished Blaster. Now, I think he's, he, he's going to search for Blaster, you see here. 
since Blaster was banned, she's going to search a fire dragon. Yeah, he searches Flame Bell Guard. So Cam draws one for the title and then bottoms the title when it hits the field. Yeah, that you got to get rid of his resources. This this Hyrata deck is nice. I, the only thing about it is, like, I don't know how good Soul Charge is in the deck. Because this is more of an OTK deck, but I guess you can play two ways. You can, like, OTK, and if you can't OTK, then you just build a big board. So it's a... It's an okay deck. I'm glad to see Dennis playing it because he already won with the Mythic Ruler version of the deck. I think that's what he's doing. I, I'll ask him next time I see him because I, I actually didn't even know he switched to this version. I thought he was playing the Mythic Ruler deck. All right, so we know Cam's got Ignition, right? Because that's what he potted Duality for. So here comes Trap Tricks Dianea, which is... It's uh, basically a Debris Dragon slash Blizzard for Trap Tricks monsters, but right now Cam has no monsters in the graveyard, so he's going to attack them. That's how this hat deck wins. It's a control deck. Okay, so here's Heratic Tefnut, which is basically a Cyber Dragon. You can just special summon it if your opponent controls a monster. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And obviously all the Heratics have the effect when they're tributed that they special summon a... Uh, a normal dragon from your deck, hand, or graveyard. I'm pretty sure your opponent has to have a monster, though. It's not like, uh... Yes, if your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon this card. Cannot attack the tur during the turn, it is special summon this way. Okay, I didn't even know that. See, I'm refreshing my memory on Hieratics. It's been a long time. Summons Flame Guard. He's going to try to Black Rose him again. And Cam smells the Black Rose coming, activates Artifact Sanctum, pops the Tefnuit. Yeah, you pop the Tefnuit in case Cam's got, uh, sorry, in case Dennis has like a Heratic Suit and Cam chains the DD Crow to the Tempest effect. Let's see if Dennis has a, if Dennis doesn't have another play, he's cooked. Yep, he scoops it up. Game three. Let's see who will win. Cam or, or Dennis, the two champs going at it. All right, who will win? Here comes Dragon Shrine from Dennis. Since Guard and Sue, okay, that's interesting. Let's see what, what else he has. Does he have Soul Charge? Yep, here comes oh, Soul Charge. <laughs> Brings out no Max C from Cam, no DD Crow. He activates the Hieratic Seal of Convocation, which is a uh, Rota for Hieratics. Tribute Sue to Special Summon Sue. So Sue, sent, when it's tributed, it Special Summons a, uh, remember, a normal Dragon-type monster from his hand deck or graveyard. He brings out the Labradite Dragon. So now I'm guessing he's going to make the Hieratic King of a Tomb. It's a level 6 XYZ monster you make with two level 6 dragons. It can't attack the turn and use the effect. You detach a material... To special summon any dragon monster from your deck, it's a, but its attack and defense becomes zero. So I wonder if Dennis is on red MD, or if he's going to bring out a a dragon ruler from his. Uh... Can you not use the effect because of soul charge? Maybe that's what Cam told him. He's not using the effect. No, no. Okay, I don't know. I. I... Okay, yeah, yeah. I was, I was thinking, yeah. Why couldn't you? <clears throat> All right, so he's going to use a tomb to bring out either A. Let's see if he plays Red MD or if he's going to bring out... Oh, he does play Red MD. Okay. We didn't see a game one or game two. So now Red MD. Bring back Sue. Now, that Red MD's attack and defense is zero. Also, Sue has another effect where you can destroy spells and traps by tributing, I think, Heratic monsters. Let me remember, refresh my memory. Heratic Sue. Yes. Once per turn, you can tribute one Heratic monster, accept this card from your hand or your side of the field to target one spell or trap card your opponent controls, destroy that target. So if Cam sets any back rows and, and uh, Dennis has any other... Heratics in his hand, he can pop them, but it's kind of risky because a lot of the times the hat deck they set artifacts in their spell and trap card zone or they set sanctum. 
All right, so let's see what else Dennis can do. Taking a while here. So here comes Goldsark. I'm pretty sure Goldsark's limited to one in hat format. So what's he going to banish? He chooses Tempest, adds the Bree Dragon. Has he normaled? I don't think he's normaled. Did he normal? No, he just shrined and then soul charged. Yeah, he is not normal. He special summoned the Sue from his hand. Sue, you can special summon it by tributing a Heratic monster. I'm pretty sure that's Sue's effect. Yes. You, you can special summon Sue from your hand by tributing one Hieratic monster. So, what, wait, what happened? What happened to his Sue? He made another Sue? He special summons Blaster. Oh, he tributed the... So he goes Spark Dragon. Okay, so I see why he did this. He's going to try to protect either A, his... Whichever monster... Because he knows what he knows. Ham, Cam's playing Hat. Turn one, the Hat deck can't do much. So he goes Call the Haunted. Sorry, Power of the reveals Call the Haunted, Soul Drain, and Artifact Moral Attack. So he tributed the Hieratic King of a Tomb, the XYZ monster, Special Summon Sue. Then summoned, uh, brought out Blaster with the second a tomb. Synchro for Spark Dragon. So yes, Spark Dragon is a quick effect during either player's turn. You can protect, I think you, like you can protect one monster from being destroyed by battle or card effects. So here, Cam had the Dark Hole, man. <laughs> the one out, Dark Hole. You see Dennis is upset. Yeah, I'd be upset too. He just opened the one Dark Hole. I know people complain about one ofs in Edison, like the one brain control, the one, the one uh, burial, the one dark arm. But here, Cam had the one dark hole. Yeah, you can see Dennis is upset. <laughs> I don't blame him because Cam was cooked. If he didn't have, I'm not saying he was cooked, but like, I like this play by Dennis. You have Spark Dragon, and like the Hat Deck can only summon like one monster per turn. Yeah, like, like what does the Hat Deck do? Turn one, either a summon a Mermaleo. Or summon Car Car D, or set a or set a hand or summon a hand, whatever. But since Cam had the one dark hole, it forced Dennis to uh to protect one only one of his cards, and he chose the Spark Dragon, which was probably the right move because you want to stop Sanctum. So here, Dennis normal summons Debris Dragon, bring back brings back Liber Die Dragon. Ooh, Wing Beat. Oh, man. Oh, but he has Moral Attack. But he can protect his Spark Dragon. Okay, yes. So remember, Moral Attack doesn't target, so he has to use Spark Dragon's effect. Spark Dragon can protect one monster. Once this turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Oh, man. I love Wing Beat. That's why that's I, I told people before, like, I kind of want to play a deck with Wing Beat because it's Heavy Storm. Kind of like a Heavy Storm. All right, we'll see who can win this game. So Dennis chose not to special summon Blaster. Maybe he should have just to get in some damage. Or maybe he doesn't want to waste his resources. He'd rather wait for Cam to do something. Oh, man, Cam with three more back rows. Now he adds the Tempest off Goldsark. Come on, Dennis, wing beat him again. Ha, <laughs> Hey, just like triple wing beat. Can you imagine if we had triple heavy storm in uh in Edison format? Oh, <laughs> oh man. Starlight Road. Oh no, chains ignition. <laughs> so ignition is an MST for uh Yes, ignition is an MST. Ooh, double moral attack. Okay. So he is gonna get rid of the uh so yeah, ignition is an MST, but you have to set an artifact from your deck to your spell and trap card zone. So yeah, the, he's going to chain uh, Spark Dragon, but since he brought out two moral attacks, it's it only protects it once during that turn. Oh my god, this has been a good match. Double wing beat. <laughs> so why couldn't he? Why couldn't he run over the moral attack? What happened? Did he attack already this turn? So 
So yeah, Wing Beat's a heavy storm, except you have to return a level 5 or higher monster to your hand. Oh, he has to skip his battle phase because of Ignition. Okay, that's what happened. Since he destroyed the Ignition with Wing Beat, he has to skip his battle phase. Okay, so he goes for Volcasaurus, which is... Uh, And that is game. So, Volcasaurus is a rank 5. You detach a material to burn, to destroy a monster your opponent controls. And they take that many life points. It's kind of like a ring of destruction. Except, uh, it can't attack. So then he XYZ summoned uh, Gaia Charger. Which you can put that monster on top of any level 5 or higher XYZ monster. And it's basically just a piercer. But you, you do that to play around like monsters that can't attack. So, you burn them. He uh, Dennis took 28, then he flipped summon Dianea, and that's like 28, 35, 45, and then 50, was that, that was like 7,100 damage that Dennis Soul Charge turned once. So that was game. What a match. That was an exciting third game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, also, uh, check the description out. I have a coupon code for my local Epic Cards and Games if you guys want to go buy cards. 5% off if you use my code, which is just my, my first and last name, all caps. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.